Welcome back. It's a simple pattern, but it can really add some wow to your walls and furniture. Lee and Lee from Rekindled Spaces is back with us to show us how to create a Harlequin pattern, yes. which is kind of all the rage. It looks really tough to do. It looks tough, but it's really easy if you just know the simple tricks. So okay, teach us the simple tricks. I would love to. Okay, so this is what we're actually creating right here, just so your viewers see it. What we're going to do is you take the space that you have, if it's a wall or a piece of furniture, and you divide it by the number of harlequins that will fit on that piece. So for this, we're do using the math. 16 by 20. Mm -hmm. So we're going to make two 8-inch harlequins. So okay. what we want to do is we're going to make a tack mark at, if we're doing an 8-inch harlequin, mm -hmm. we're going to make a tack mark at 4, 8, 12, and 16. This way, because we have 20 inches, we're going to divide it by 5, 10, 15, 20. Perfect. All right, this is where I need your help. We're okay. going to take a chalk line. You can get this at your hardware store. Mm -hmm. Typically, on something this light, I would put blue or uh, baby powder in it. Mm -hmm. But for TV, I wanted to show, so I just need you to snap. Okay. What we, uh, we tacked the top and the bottom, and now we're just using the chalk line to get our pattern. Perfect. And I won't make you do all of them, but all right. what we're going to get then is a grid like right. this. This gives you a visual area to work on. Now, I would tape it off, but I just want to show you what we're creating here is a... Can you see now? Yep, perfect. So what we're creating is diamonds. Mm -hmm. So we wouldn't do this with a marker, but right. what we're doing is, is taping off our area. And really, it is all about taping. It's all Using good about tape. the tape, yes. And if you have a freshly painted area, mm -hmm. you need to use a blue, okay. low-tack tape. Now, here's the trick. Once you get, let me just get one on here so I can just show you. I think this mm -hmm. is really important. When you get it taped off, mm -hmm. I like to burnish it. So take something, credit card, fingernail, really burnish the tape down. Great. Now here is the so real... So that bleeding. Exactly. And here's the real trick. So this is okay. our pattern. Mm -hmm. What I've done is taken some blue spots so that we don't paint those areas. Okay. Now, I'm taking the same color that is my base coat color. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to do before I even paint my second color is I'm going to take this... And I'm going to go back over the tape with the same base coat color that I originally used. Oh! And what that causes when that dries and you put the dark brown over it, mm -hmm. there's no seepage. Any seepage is the same color as what you originally had. Those you are, are so smart. That is brilliant. I've never are the heard tricks that of trick. the trade that nobody tells you. There you go. Okay. So once you've done that and you've mm -hmm. got that all done, I'm taking my dark and I'm just using a contrasting color. Roller, brush, mm -hmm. whatever you have. Whatever you have. Yep. And then you're just going to start painting your Harlequins on. Perfect. Now, how long do you let it dry before you pull off the tape? You know, I would like to say a good couple of hours. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of antsy, so mm -hmm. I don't do a very good job of that. I like to see the reveal. But I would let it dry long enough to see if you need a second coat. Because mm -hmm. sometimes when you're using the darker color over a lighter color... Um, you miss some spots. You miss some spots and you need a second coat. So then you pull the tape. And what you get is, is something like this. And what I did I just the, for the a little like accents, I just put some little dark. You could use rhinestones. Upholstery tax mm -hmm. is what we used on our piece of furniture. So it anything, looks yes, it looks awesome. Okay, Leanne uh, gave us her instructions for creating the Harlequin pattern for your home. You can find them at KCLive.tv later on today. And you have an announcement to make. I do. Can we have a name, please, Sir the Nick. The name for the pet bed. <laughs> we had such a response for the rekindled pet bed. Okay, so this Thank is you. this cute um, little the rekindled little pet, pet bed right bed down there that we the are giving is... away. Sharon Wiggins from Lawrence, Kansas. Congratulations, Sharon! I so, hope she has a nice, small little animal to enjoy that Yes, pet bed. so I will deliver that to you or figure out a way to get that to you, but congratulations. <laughs> Drive out to Lawrence. Darn, I have to go to Lawrence for the day. <laughs> and stay there and enjoy a meal, right? Exactly. Thank you so much. You're Great so welcome. Thank you. Great advice. You're so talented. You. Let's check in with Michael.